The CV, I mean, that that's common, you know, that happens. Honestly, I would, uh, these things are front rotors. OEM or, uh, I think they have extended CVs for these as well. Looks like your brakes are grinding. Man, they're bad, man. Them need front rotors. He act like he, well, he did say I need brakes and all that and some front end work. Oh, yeah, I desperately need brakes. Bad. That don't make no sense. Yeah. Desperately, huh? Yeah, uh, they're grinding both sides on the road. Yeah. Here. Bro, we look like it's on the pad. Yep. Period. Like, it's no, nothing on there. I work at O'Reilly's, man, but trying to work out something with him with the price for what we did, man, because it's like, come on, bro, I'm about to do a lot yeah. of work to this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, brakes are shot. Lug nuts, I mean, I can get you a set of spikes for this. Uh, what you think I'm probably looking at for the, uh, as far as, like, just try to get some, um, or estimate me, estimate it for me later or whatever, I just... Yeah, I can jot some stuff down and give you a call if you want. Because I got to go to my shop. I'm going to go to my shop and let this down now so I ain't got to drive back to you, Hall. Yeah. But I'm going to have to drive this back, like, five minutes to my crib. I should be safe. Because I want to leave it outside at my shop. Yeah, I mean, should be fine. I wouldn't be... drive it after that, though. Yeah, I ain't driving it around. Because I'd rather leave it at my house where I'm at. I don't want to leave it at my shop because it is to be sitting outside. But other than that. Yeah, because if you keep driving on these brakes, you're going to blow a caliper. Shit, I ain't already blowed. So, I can give you my number and name again, and then we can just hit me up and see what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, so... Okay, the lug nuts, you're thinking like 1, 150 basically, and then um, um, what we need again, you said, hold on, the, um, what you call this? Upper control arms. Upper control arms and all that. And then that CV axle. Um, I mean, I can quote you brakes unless you, I mean, you could probably do that. Yeah, um, I could probably do that too. I'm working on Raleigh, so I'll probably just get the stuff I need. Yeah. I'll probably really big me need your help on just making sure I got the right control arms and stuff man yep. cause what you're looking at for that you just put no like a rough depends uh, I think the arms oof, I think they're like 300 bucks for the arms I probably can order them for my job huh um, yeah. maybe um, if you let me know what kind they are I could probably save me some money that'd be rough country like drop control arms so if you just want to replace the ball joints I mean it'd be cheaper doing that so I wouldn't need the control arms. I mean, I, I wanted to just be able to not bust again on me like that because yeah. these rims, you know, is just yep. not factory, you know, custom and all that. Right? I mean, that happens pretty often on these trucks. So I don't think it's because of the wheels. Oh, it, it okay. might be because it's cranked up, but you know, the angle's not like that bad actually. So what I'll be looking at for this? I gotta go to Meg. I gotta go to somebody to get this shaved or fix this here yeah or you grab a sawzall and i just do it or a cut off wheel i mean you could probably do that yourself too man i'll be knowing stuff get man. some tape you just take this off a lot of people take those off yeah that's a bummer because this is you yeah, still need a whole new tire ruined. yeah it is this shot All right, I could come in and give you my info, and then All right. we can just go from there. Definitely appreciate it.